Hi, everybody. The kids had a big supper. And now they got their cat hooves. Ooh, those are great for teething, yes. <laughs> What's that? Is that your cow hoof? Is that your cow hoof, little girl? Right, there's Izzy. And there's Archie. I've got mine over here. Her sister can't get it. Is that good, baby? His leg seems to be doing um, a little bit better. I'm telling you, these kids have the cutest faces I have ever seen. I just love these babies. I came home. Well, I leave for work about 8.15, 8.30. I get home about 6.30. And this, I could smell the poo-poo from the driveway. <laughs> says, well, when we eat a lot, we poo-poo a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. I came in here. It's the first thing I do. I put my purse down, take my jewelry off, come in here hazmat suit <laughs> and do the cleaning look at her little legs <laughs> look at those legs oh my god you enjoying that Archie I want to hear no fighting over that <laughs> forgot about him. I forgot to give him to him last night. It was just so late and I was so tired. When I came home, I'd left him two big bowls of dry food out and I think every kibble was gone. <laughs> I'm telling you, these are adorable puppies. Oh my gosh. They'll have their second a uh, set of shots on the 8th of March. And I think around that time, I'm going to see how they do. I usually like to keep them in here for two weeks. Especially since Chris is working now and he's gone till 3 o'clock and I'm gone until 6.30. I don't like to leave them just in the whole house unsupervised. But I can't wait till my day off because I'll sit in here all day and play with them. And their mom is a, a little scruffy tricolor terrier, little chihuahua looking dog. So I don't know where Archie came from, but I'm telling you, he is sweet as sugar. And this little girl is sweet and feisty. <laughs> Says, I'm worried my sister's going to come steal it. Ooh, that feels so good on their teeth. Okay, everybody. I'm going to go get something to eat. And I'm working tomorrow. And I'm just sitting here basking, just basking in this love. Like, I just, it's just everything to me. I was so heartbroken over pebbles. And then we had the freeze and the water out, and I just could not wait to get my hands on foster babies. I feel, um... I don't know, it's a weird feeling. I've been doing it now, what, 11 years, 12 years? I think the longest I've gone without a foster is three weeks. 
and that's when I was out of state, out of town, like across the ocean. I've just never not had them, and I just can't stand not having them. I just, wow. It's just so everything to me. It just makes me so happy. Yeah. Okay, everybody, before I get too sentimental, I'm going <laughs> to... Just pray these babies stay healthy. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. They're happy. Yeah, there's my happy girl. There's my happy boy. Sending loves and hugs, y'all. Say bye. Say bye, Archie. Say bye, Izzy.